Hi guys, welcome to another live Sunday where we get together and do an activation and meditation every Sunday at 2 o'clock Central PM. I see we already have some people here. Hello everybody. So we've got uh, just to say hello to people that are here, Little Starseed, Robert Myers, uh, Goople77, Darby, Katie, Chasing the Milk, Samara. Samara, I just loved your energy. I had a coaching with her this week and um, just a beautiful soul. Very beautiful. Habs, Joyce, Dan Heaton. And for anybody joining right now that has not said hello in the chat, please do so because it is the last week to enter for the contest to receive a free Star Origins reading or free Star Seed merch. And in the background there, I have uh, one of my Star Seed sweatshirts, one of my favorites. And for those watching the replay, you can also join in the contest by commenting in the comment section here. Robert's here, Victor's here, Chalice, JF, Nick's here, Daniel, Max, Ryan Stober, Habs, of course, Miro, Reiki, Penny, Ed Villavert, welcome, Anne, Suzanne, Homo Galacticus, welcome, Vladimir, Cosmic, Peter, hi guys, and Trip, hello fellow star seeds. So today we are going to do a Lyran activation. I'm really excited about it. The Lyrans were one of uh, the, that's who I first found out was my star family. I also have, um, I also have Syrian and Pleiadian that I know of. I think there may be some other ones, but the Lyrans I worked very closely with for all of last summer. Um, Lakeside Laura, Joyce, Alfredo, Alexandra. Hi, Silverback. Hello, Bridget, Morgan. So last summer, some of the beings that were visiting me, you know, the UFOs that were coming to me, um, a lot of them were Lyrans, and I worked very closely with them all of last summer. They taught me so much about spirituality and just the universe, about time, just so many things. So I'm excited to connect with the Lyrans. And Yep, so a lot of the Lyrans are known as being feline beings. Let me know if I have any Lyrans in the house. Um, a lot of them are known as feline beings, but we also have other ones. The ones that were working closely with me for a while last summer were actually blue. They had light blue skin, they had no hair, and they were very pretty and they looked very human. But there are the feline beings, and also avians, which are like, think of like Thoth from ancient Egypt, the bird-like beings. Hello, Kathy. I'm going to take a sip real quick. Yeah, Victor. Okay, so today we're doing the Lyrans. And for anybody who just popped in, if you haven't commented in the chat here do that so that you can be entered to win the contest i've got um i started writing down everybody's names i still got a ways to go and i'll show you guys some photos of some different lyrans and then we'll uh, get started um i also wanted to share a an experience that i had recently um for a reiki session that i did so I went into this Reiki session. It was a lot more than just a Reiki session. She was actually seeing things. And while she was working on me, she was taken back to a past life of mine. It was in Egypt. And I was a feline being. There was a group of feline beings there in ancient Egypt. And she had witnessed it was like the passing like i had passed away from something bad had happened and so they were getting ready to embalm me and they were preparing my body and like so she saw it as if she was there like she was like looking around and, and it, it was like all around her so i was laying down as a feline being there were other feline beings there and she said that the goddess isis was there the ancient egyptian goddess and she was sad the goddess was because she, 
in her words, I was very special to the goddess Isis. We had a close connection, which is interesting because whenever this started for me, the goddess Isis came to visit me a couple times. It was really wild. Um, hello, Mary, Christine, Peter, Edgar. <laughs> Star beings are telepathic. <laughs> yeah. Hi, John Martin. Oh my gosh. He is wonderful. He's like the older male version of me. He does CE fives all the time and he has a beautiful connection with our star family. He has some really cool footage. He uses a night vision camera. Um, so yeah. And a lot of us may feel that we have a close connection with ancient Egypt. And I find that a lot of star seeds do feel like that. It could be either from, you know, past lives in ancient Egypt or, you just know that there's more to it. There's something very, very special about ancient Egypt. And the star beings have told me that the pyramids will come back online one day and it will be free energy to enough to power the whole earth. So the pyramids are very special. They show me the pyramids a lot in visions. <laughs> I'm starseed. Why can't beings come visit me? They can. And, uh, last week, if you guys were here last week or watched the replay from the Arcturian activation, actually the Arcturians came to visit me like four times after that activation. That activation was very powerful. They were there. Even if you didn't see them, somebody wrote me and said that after last week's Arcturian activation, a blue orb actually manifested in their house. And often the Arcturians can come as blue orbs. Or if you were to meditate on it, you could maybe feel their presence. Um, whenever I was going to bed the other night after the activation, I closed my eyes and I saw an Arcturian being. So they were letting me know telepathically that they were nearby. Um, so even if you can't see them, doesn't mean that they are not there. Ancient Egypt's where it's at. Yep. Let me show you guys some photos of some of these Lyrans real quick. Okay, got to stay hydrated. So I'm going to just show you guys some photos of some feline beings and a few other ones. Really take in that energy of these beings and connect with them. Um, I hear that my voice gets crackly whenever I share my screen. So um, I may not talk that much, but so I'm going to go ahead and share it. Okay, so this is an avian. There's also a planet in Lyra with bird beings. I've seen some of these as well. This is a blue being that looks very similar to the blue Lyrans that came to visit me and that I'm closely related with. This is another Lyran. Here's a gorgeous feline being from Lyra. You can just feel the energy coming off of the photo. Sekhmet. This is Isis, who will also be present today. Isis. And this is really interesting. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but so that's a mound from Cahokia Mounds, ancient Native American city. And then there's the face on Mars and it looks like a lion. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Hopefully you guys got, um, hopefully you guys got a good view of that. Um, Victor actually 
edited a photo. I'll have to share it with you guys. He um, made it to where it was symmetrical on each side, the face on Mars, and it literally looks like a lion. Looks like a lion. John says, I have such strong Isis energy. Thank you. What was the question? But do Leah's have anything to do with Lyra? Um, well, in the Sphinx was if it aligns perfectly with Leo. So I'm not big into astrology. So there could possibly be a connection. But I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to find an astrologist, a master astrologist. Nick says set the intention first. Yeah, set the, set the intention to, to connect with them. And we will, you know, I'll walk you guys through that process today as we're doing it to connect with them. Daniel says he's seen visions of blue beings, but you don't know your exact origin. I've been meditating with you a lot today, but first, oh, well, hello. Welcome, Daniel. Yeah, so there's actually a lot of blue beings from different places, too. Some of the Syrians are known as blue beings. Um the, the ones that I met were definitely Lyran and they were blue. So I think it has something to do with their, you know, with the atmosphere that they're in. It, it changes the color of their skin. So there can be blue beings from different places. And also the Arcturians have kind of a blue tint as well. But that's awesome that you've seen them. Keep uh, nurturing that. BF helping us. Yeah, Lakeside Laura. So I do actually have a video, um, how to make contact with UFOs and CE5. You can use the same principles from that video in just connecting with them spiritually. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be physically inviting a ship. You can use the same steps in that video. And um, I also have a three keys to connect video, which takes you through it's like a 10 minute exercise that takes you through the process I use whenever I am connecting with them. Okay, let's see if, so today's the last day to enter the contest. Um, I've also a new update. So for the DNA activation kits that I'm working on and for these, I actually wanna invest in a new mic. So I did add a donate button. If anybody would be interested in donating, for a new mic, I want to get a really nice mic to have more of an immersive experience so that we can just feel it better and hear the bowls better. So I added a donate button in the description. Steph, just got here from TikTok. What's up? I haven't been posting on TikTok that much lately, and then I just started again. So welcome. Thank you so much. So we do these lives every Sunday at 2 o'clock Central. And we call in our star family, we call in our guides, and I channel that for those frequencies, that energy, and um, it's just very beautiful. So I guess we are about to start. That's a good question. I'm not sure. I'm sure they may have. I've never seen a half bird, half lion being, but there's many different types of beings out there. Anything you can imagine. Okay, and... Here's the bowl. So today, let's focus our intention on connecting with the Lyrans. And I'll also be inviting Isis. And I thought it'd be a good idea to focus our intention on transformation, healing, and rebirth. All right, we're about to start. Okay, I'm going to turn off the chat for just a second and take one more sip. Okay, guys, you ready? Let's connect with the Lyrans. And I actually did see a vision of the Lyrans the other day, and I got a sign from them last night. So they know that we're doing this. They're, they're here. And we can connect with this energy for transformation, healing, all right, so let's get started. Go ahead and find a comfortable position. And 
Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And go ahead and start by taking a deep breath in on the three count. So in, one, two, three, and out, one, two, three. And for anybody new, I also play my very powerful crystal alchemy singing bowl. Very healing frequencies. It helps open your chakras. And let's set the intention that we are inviting the Lyrans, our Lyran star family of the highest love and light, and our Lyran guides of the highest love and light to connect with the energy for transformation, healing, and rebirth. Let's start off by envisioning the Lyrans, which I just showed you, the feline beings. Envision them taking a step forward to connect with us on an energetic and spiritual level. And let's envision the pyramids. The pyramids are very special and very powerful. You can envision the pyramid lighting up like it is activating. and tuning into that mystical energy from the pyramids. As we do this, the pyramids light up a platinum light with the help of the Lyrans for this very activating energy. And a beam of light shoots out out of the top of the pyramids up into space and around the whole planet. engulfing the whole planet in this activating ascension energy. Feel the energy shift as these frequencies engulf the whole planet, helping to activate us, helping to activate our DNA. And we ask the goddess Isis, who has a strong connection with the Lyrans, to step forward.
Isis steps forward and lightens up our bodies with a golden light. We can envision this golden light starting off at the bottom of our feet. Working its way up our legs. Up our thighs. A sparkling golden energy. Up our hips and our abdomen. Going down our fingertips, up our arms, biceps. Filling our heart and our chest, expanding our heart. Feel your heart fill with love and warmth. As our heart expands, it begins healing. You may envision your heart chakra, your heart center. If it's had any wounds or trauma, this may appear as rips or tears or dark spots. Now with the help of Isis and the Lyrans, these dark spots, these imperfections can begin to dissipate and heal. As this bright golden energy expands and gets brighter, cleansing out anything that no longer belongs, healing any old wounds that can be healed. Our heart is a portal. This healing helps open this portal for a greater communication and connection to source. Bask in this feeling of warmth as it spreads throughout your body from your heart center. And the golden shimmering light continues up your neck. engulfing your head opening your crown chakra at the top of your head and then shooting up opening a direct channel to you and source And opening a channel to better connect and receive guidance from your cosmic family of the highest love and light.
this boom coming from your heart chakra and your crown chakra at the top of your head, shooting up into outer space. Filling up and opening the chakras above your head, allowing you to connect with the wisdom and love of the universe. We can also envision this golden light going down into the earth, down through your earth star chakra, which is just a little bit below your body. This golden light. Anchoring you deep into Gaia, deep into the center of the earth. so that you may remain grounded and fully present. And you can also connect with the healing energy of the earth. So now you are a beam of light going from the earth all the way up into space with the Lyrans and Isis's assistance, this beam of light expands. Also as the pyramids, their beams of light expand. Feel the energy in your body intensifying as this energy becomes brighter and stronger. This beam of golden light works to cleanse and transform your energy, your mind, body, soul, healing deep into your soul deep into past lives. This golden light begins to activate your DNA. filling every cell in your body every cell in your body is cleansed healed and activated
Feel the frequencies of love and light washing over, healing and activating every cell in your body. The Lyrans stand close by with the goddess Isis As you are engulfed in this golden beam of light, this golden energy, allowing it to heal, cleanse, and activate you, the goddess Isis steps forward. And she gives you a gift. A symbol of the Ankh. She steps forward and touches your forehead. As the Ankh lights up on your forehead. And adds a shield of protection. Around your body and energy. Giving you the blessing of mastery over your human and spiritual experience. May this symbol bless you and protect you. Isis steps backward and allows the Lyrans to step forward. You can envision them stepping forward and they also give you a gift. Envision and feel them. Stepping forward and touching your heart. Where this platinum light, pure light. Engulfs your heart and then spreads throughout your body. Put a protective symbol of the rose on your heart. Blessing you with healing and helping you to bloom Connecting with the energy of the pyramids, this light now spreads from you across the whole planet. Isis and the Lyrans gift us with rebirth. In this golden energy, you can envision or feel yourself 
like like a caterpillar in a cocoon. Feel the metamorphosis as with this gift of rebirth, you begin to turn into a butterfly. feeling the transformation at a cell by cell level on an energetic level. Take a deep breath. and out, breathing more life into this butterfly. Anchoring in this energy. We ask and allow for this golden energy to continue protecting us, activating us throughout our day. And we thank the Lyrans, our Lyrans guides, our Lyran star families, and Isis and the pyramids for helping us with this activation. Now offer the Lyrans and Isis a gift of your own to show your gratitude. You can give them whatever you'd like, a crystal, a flower, Envision yourself giving it to them and saying thank you. Okay, now start coming back. Back to your earth body. Okay, guys, how do you feel? I just turn the turn the chat back on. Awesome. Tommy says, thank you. I needed this today. Samantha's here. Cosmic said, saw pink and cyan. Yeah. Did you guys see anything with your eyes closed? I so I was focusing on the words, but I did see some colors. I thought I saw blue. Interesting. Have photos of blue avians. Feeling energized. Mary says, yes, thank you. Nick said we have 80. Awesome. Yeah. 
If you know any Lyran star seeds or anybody who you think would like this activation, please send it to them. My goal is 1,000 people in here live. Ed says, feeling energized. Christine feels amazing. Thank you. Very powerful. Katie, definitely feel a high frequency. Wonderful. Yeah, you can like feel it. If you focus on that golden energy engulfing you and feeling it intensifying, you can actually feel it. Silverback, you brought this sun out on a cloudy day. Thank you. <laughs> John says, calm and centered. Awesome. Hav says he feels the fifth he buzz in. Mary, I was hearing some of what you said just before you said it. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, Victor, I was just thinking about this. When you mentioned Ice is offering a gift, I immediately thought the onk before you mentioned it. <laughs> Anne says, Isis arrived as a white dove at first. That's beautiful. That is amazing. Yeah, the time that I saw Isis, it was um, it was just so beautiful. I could see her like far away at first. And then she like started back here. And then she came up to my face as if I was like standing, you know, right in front of her. Um, I think she has given me a gift before. I can't remember exactly what it was. But that's, you know, really powerful. And they can also come as in different ways, just like Anne said, as a white dove, um, different signs and symbols or colors. And says, are you alien? I might be. Yep. Yes, we are. Yeah, Isis is very powerful. And it's really interesting because after the UFOs started coming to me, you know, I'm seeing all these UFOs and then they began teaching me about spirituality and ISIS and the Ankh was one of the first things that really came to me. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, she's real. She is real. You know, all of those gods and goddesses are real. Um, so she's really interesting. Mary said, ISIS, kiss your forehead. That's amazing. Katie, my forehead started buzzing big when Isis activated my third eye. She was right in front of my face. Oh, my God. That makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, she is very powerful. Um, and that just really warmed my heart whenever I did the Reiki session. And she was there with us as with the Lyrans and the feline beings. She was there. So just... Very beautiful energy, um, transformative, healing, rebirth. It's awesome. Golden, as a golden light and golden stars. Yep, Isis. Habs, what is the Lyran and Isis connection? Yeah, honestly, I do not know 100%. I was kind of surprised. I did that session last, uh, a couple weeks ago, and that's where she took a past life where I'd passed and I was a feline being in ancient Egypt and Isis was there with us. And it makes sense to me because Isis was one of the first beings who came to me um, whenever I started meditating and I have a close connection with the Lyrans. So I'd be interested to learn more about that, but there's definitely a strong connection there. Rose, hi. Yeah, we just got done. We're just talking about um, our experiences. Reiki saw purple and green in my third eye. Awesome. Like small orb, like orange spots. Feels amazing. It's so awesome listening to all of your guys' experiences. It, it makes my heart warm. Felt a twitch in your heart when you mentioned her coming forward. That's amazing. Yeah, I did a meditation the other night, which inspired me to actually bring them more into the meditation um, where it was Jesus and Archangel Metatron. And you could literally feel them like I felt it in my heart and I almost started crying during the meditation whenever they step forward. So it's very powerful directing your energy that way. OK, guys, I think I am going to hop off here now in just a second. 
Um, next week, we decided to do Andromeda. I'm excited for that. The Andromeda, the Andromeda Galaxy, the Andromedans. So that's who we will be doing next week. Hmm. Stas says, explosions of energy. I've never felt such powerful meditation. Thank you so much. Oh, that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. They're getting stronger too. And um, I'll let you guys know, I'll probably end up seeing Isis and the Lyrans after this. Um, okay. So then next week, we are doing the Andromedans and I will be doing the contest. So make sure you come next week. I'm writing everybody's names down. I'm going to put them in a jar and then we're going to pick the winners of the Star Origins reading and the Star Seed merch. I saw you on the first Quantum podcast and then the other day. Thank you. Your stuff is awesome. Thank you, Hidden. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Next week, I will make some Andromeda tank tops and Andromeda merch. Also, I don't have Andromeda on my shop, lilynovaspaceart.com. I have other star seed. Uh, there's one of my uh, sweatshirts back there, and I've got really cute tanks. So I'll be adding Andromedans up there. All right. You guys are awesome. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>